B'nai Zion Medical Center in Haifa is in many ways like any other hospital. Hundreds of people come and go every day. Broken bones are healed. Babies are born. People learn to walk again. And ambulances come to emergency just like they do where you live. But here at B'nai Zion, emergencies can have a very different meaning. In 2006, during the attack on Haifa, B'nai Zion Hospital was on the front lines for the battle when two missiles landed in the street just a few yards from the entrance. Potential had become emergency, and the hospital was challenged not only with helping the injured who were brought in, but protecting the patients who were already there. Plans have now been made to build an underground bomb and chemical-proof emergency facility at the hospital. It would house not only a new underground emergency room, but would serve as a protected area for hospital patients in the event of another attack. Uh, we are starting to build our uh, underground protected emergency room and uh, hospitalization unit, and I'm very excited of it. I know it will take three years, three and a half years, and during those years I'll have to raise more funds, but I can start, and I'm starting, and it makes me very happy. The medical center serves all of northern Israel, providing compassionate care without regard to one's ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, or economic status. This is truly a hospital that cares for and about its patients, where each year over 65,000 people visit emergency and 14,000 surgeries are performed by some of Israel's top surgeons and medical teams. I travel to the United States at least two, three, four times a year, and I meet many good people, warm-hearted people that help us during the years on behalf of my st our staff, on behalf of our patient and myself. Thank you. Mom.